Thanksgiving to New Year's is probably the toughest stretch of time when mourning the death of a loved one. But one local cemetery is trying to ease that struggle with their annual luminary lighting. KEZI 9 News reporter Lauren Meichler is live in the studio with more on tonight's ceremonies at Sunset Hill Cemetery. Lauren? Jessica, when you're missing someone, it's very hard to celebrate the holidays with the same cheer and warmth that others do. But the staff at Sunset Hill says it's important to take this time to reflect and remember by letting a little light back into your life during the holidays. All right, it's coming along. Light can be a scarce commodity this time of year, especially in a cemetery. The Christmas is so hard, I and mean, it's supposed to be a joyous time, but when you've lost somebody, it, it's so hard to get through. Which is why Wade Lynn spends a weekend each winter trying to restore that glow amongst the gloom. We wanted to have something that families that have had a loss during the year can come back and have a little hope during the Christmas season. So for the last seven years, Lind, his family, and volunteers have spent a December day building a glowing garden of 4,000 luminaries amongst the gravestones at his South Eugene Cemetery as a way to warm an often sorrowful season. As the sun goes down, they, they slowly start to glow, and they glow brighter and brighter the darker it gets. And that's kind of the neat thing. As it gets darker, as your life gets darker, the light gets brighter. It looks like stars in the sky and everything is illuminated in the in the cemetery and you see a sweep of stars coming up the hill. Volunteer Franzi Thompson recently lost both her husband and daughter, but knows tonight her heartbreak might not hurt as much as it often does. I don't always lose my loved one. It's acute at first, but then I gain back the memories and the knowledge that I never have lost them. And so this is a way of honoring my daughter, my husband, you know, all the people I've lost in my life and also being with other people when they do the same thing. Tonight, Franzi will join hundreds of others mourning, remembering and honoring their loved ones who cannot physically be here to celebrate this holiday season. A hard lesson for all of us to learn, but one that eases with each flicker of the flame. You see the little flicker and it just reminds you that, you know, everything's not constant you know, and life isn't forever. Just like a candle, we, we light, we glow. We get brighter as our lives go on, and then we leave. Wade says the best viewing begins around 5 p.m. as the sun goes down and says no matter where your loved one is buried, come to honor them at Sun Sunset Hills tonight. And if you can, bring a can or monetary donation for Food for Lane County as well. In the studio, Lauren Michler, KEZI 9 News.